Hi there. Today I'll be showing you my uh, aluminium melting setup or my foundry. Uh, this is the foundry itself. It's made out of a, a steel bucket and some refractory cement. And I've got a steel pipe going in there to supply air. And there's some charcoal in there. Uh, you might not be able to see it clearly. Got a bag of charcoal there that I'm going to be using. And this is my crucible. It is a clay graphite crucible. It's the second one I've had to go through so far because uh, when I was trying to melt some aluminium um, I had a piece that was a bit oblong shaped. Um, so I poured, put it into the metal that I was pouring or cast uh, melting and um, it acted like a heat sink sucking out all the heat and then it thermally shocked my crucible which is this one and it caused it to crack so this time I'm going to be warming it up inside the crucible um, so that it doesn't suddenly shock it and this is the lid uh, when I was making it when I I left it to dry for like two days but uh, I had plastic over it so it didn't actually dry and when I pulled it out of the, the shape the thing I was using to shape it um, it just cracked so I absolutely loaded it with wire to hold it together and even though it is in pieces I can still hold it together and I'm going to be casting um, a cylinder for use on my lathe that you can see over there and then with whatever left whatever's left I'm going to be pouring into a beer can um, then for my air supply I have a tube here and then it is hooked up to a box that I made from scratch and then I have a vacuum cleaner motor inside um, the air goes in there I actually managed to when I was trying to check if air was coming in, I managed to get my finger sucked in and then chopped off a little piece, um, which I then later found inside the box. Uh, but my finger was fine. I think it was on the hand I'm using to hold the camera. Um, the vacuum motor I got from a vacuum cleaner that my dad was throwing out, uh, which he said was broken, but I opened it up and it was literally just a loose wire. So I scored a... A nice motor and I have this little flap to control how much air is going through the tube and to make sure that stays there I have this bucket full of uh, steel balls is about half full um, this is for a ball mill I'm building um, it's I had finished it but when I got the steel balls uh, the thing wouldn't even move so I'm still waiting for some parts. I'm trying to get a bicycle gear and chain to put on it to drive this thing. Um, then, you can see I have the little circuit there. I just push the button and it switches on. And I've got the wire hooked up to the plug there. And yeah, uh, I get the aluminium from scraps from whatever I can find. And I also have... Uh, bags of cans that I've been collecting over the, over time and then I use that to melt down and then I get my metal and then what I've been doing so far is I've been melting well once I've melted it down and poured it I put it on my lathe and then you can see there some of the cylinders that I've cast but you can see that dent in the top that's from um, when I was trying to cool it down with water, it uh, shrank so much that it dented it severely. Um, but I've learned my lesson and now I let it cool down slowly. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to pour some uh, charcoal into the base of it, that you can see there. And then I'm going to light it and then switch on my air supply. And then uh, once it's reasonably hot, I'm going to put my crucible in put charcoal around it and then uh, let it warm up until the aluminium I've got there has melted.
One thing you need to note is when you're using one of these is that um, the amount of gas given off is quite harmful to your, your throat and lungs because uh, it gives off carbon monoxide so you have to do it in a well ventilated area. I've got a breeze coming through here um, which does change direction occasionally but mostly blows it away from me. Um, <coughs> the reason why you have to be careful is because uh, you get carbon monoxide poisoning and I got that when I was uh, trying to forge in there which didn't work very well but I ended up putting my face over the foundry for quite a long time and um, the next day I had a very sore throat for several days my th voice was hoarse um, it was just not fun so now I always make sure I stand back when I don't need to be there uh, you can see that the one is still liquid as I showed that one is cooled down uh, it looks like it's kind of gone out of shape but that might just be the al um, aluminium can that I used as a mold to keep the sand in place just having it might have just moved a little bit um, now I've got the crucible sitting in there cooling down you have to make sure it cools down slowly otherwise you'll develop a crack like that if it cools down too quickly um, I will get back to you when it has cooled down completely Hmm. does seem to have uh, gone out of shape a little bit but that can be fixed the other one I will just be pulling the can away from it all right that's the end of this video thank you for watching and I'll see you next time Oh!